What's up, guys? Today we got a check engine light on a Dodge Charger. I'll find out the year model here in just a second. Uh, about to read the codes, figure out what's wrong with it, and go from there. Damn! Alright, so got it connected. Do a hip, do a direct. And that's the soul is legend. Do a diagnostic, diagnosis. Start communication. Came out with two. Got two. They give you the vent up and all of that. They give you two codes, so we're gonna see which two they are. We'll go to. Yeah, I did a bunch of crazy stuff just to hook it to the truck. Just hook it up in it. <laughs> yeah, it, it. You do it, it, do everything for you. Put it in the truck and all that. So we got a misfire complete. You see over here on the side, it tell you what it, do, it does for you. The misfires, test complete. Fuel system test is good. Uh, Evap system to do all of that for you. So, not supported test complete on the components. So all of it. So mostly all of this is just like your fuel system, your catalytic converter, all that stuff. It checks all that on the person. So if you want to see what you got as far as uh, codes. You go to your scanner. You don't have to connect to no Wi-Fi, nothing. It's, it's, it's all internal. And um, select the make of your car, and it'll pull it up on the database. This is the Dodge Charger. It's the fourth letter on the end. So the door. What's what I do? The VIN number? The tenth letter. The who? The oh, tenth, tenth letter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A seven? Probably just need a tune up. Which is definitely possible. You said it was a seven? Yeah. So this is an 07. You automatic it and it'll pull everything up. Up everything about the car, the VIN number, and all of that. Who you got going on? So, code scan. Mm, we'll do a pre scan. I ain't getting no pressure. So, three codes we got. We got a short valve, no transmission codes. And that's the car realizing that it's being, you know, it's being the. Uh, having a test on that's just the car realizing it. I'm connected to the car. I can clear all these codes that's going on in the car with this. It's a short runner, P double or P1004. We got a sensor, bank one, that's a fuel sensor. I change one of those before. So we got three codes. So one of the first thing I do is see if I can clear them all out. Still on codes, so that's 61%. What's 61%? It's still going through the code. Oh, yeah. When get to 100 is when it is done. So I'm at 70%. So sometimes you just got to scroll down because it's telling you more codes. It tells you everything. Your door, it's telling me my passenger's door, the switch is messed up or it's having an issue connecting it. 
it tells you everything from low gas, if you got filth and dirt in your fuel system, it tell you all of that. So my ECU, most ECUs always do this anyway, but it said it's a uh, configuration mismatch. And fuel volume, I got my fuel, it tells the volume. Therefore, if you got a bad float, this will tell you that your float needs to be serviced or anything like that. You clear the codes already? Right, so we got 20. All right, so. I'm going to go back here to my scanner. I already had it. So I'm going to go back to the Dodge. Seven metal was a seven. Automatic, it pull it all back up again. Clear all codes is read by the scanner. To give you that option to clear them all. All right, bam. And it tells you before you do it, this will clear all codes from the vehicle. And you know that once you do that, it's gonna clear them out. I said they're going to stay off, but it's going to clear them. It's in progress. It's clearing transmission code. That was the engine. It's clearing transmission codes now. Brake code, airbag. And that's your, your car letting you know that it's doing it. Little module, overhead module, including all codes. All right, guys, so we took a look at this car with this scanner, read a few codes, deleted some of the code, well, deleted all the codes, see who's gonna come back. Car been sitting for a year, 2007 Dodge Charger. Don't seem like it's too much wrong with it. Didn't get a chance to drive it, but uh, we're gonna, in the video here probably gonna give an updated video when get to driving it and replace some of the parts to clear the codes subscribe to the channel hit that like button turn on them post notifications thanks for watching guys